guys welcome back so just gonna have a wee bit of fun tonight um, and I'm gonna tie you as a basically a variant and a her wing style of the uh, curry's red shrimp so that's the wee fly there so I'm gonna show you how to basically put it together now the hook on the vise is a part reach patriot double and size 10 the thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is the uni thread 80 in red. So let's get started. I'll just come in a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Get our thread started. Remove the waist tag of thread. Tag at the back and the rib, both on the front and the rear body. It's an oval silver tinsel. I'm using the, the Vanyard's oval silver tinsel in size 14. Just catch that in. Just work on my thread down until we're sort of way in line with the points of the hooks. Then we're going to come around with four turns of the oval silver. Last turn, bring it up. And in between your two hooks. Just work the thread forward. Keeping this underneath. Just fold this back for the rib. And this will strengthen the tag as well. Plus it takes out a step of adding the rib back in further up the dressing. Now the tail, we're just going to use old marble fox. This is a marble fox that's probably like a blood red colour that we're going to use for the tail. A wee bit off here, ready to go. The length of the tail, it's up to you. Whatever length that you like the fish. I'm just going to go around about a length and a half, maybe two lengths of the hook there, around with a pinching loop. Just tighten up into the into the tail. Now at this point, I'm just going to come in and lift this and take this away in a bit of a taper cut, sort of way halfway up the shank for a middle wing into the tail. We'll add a wee bit of flesh. And this is just the, the nano flesh that I'm using in red. Some people don't like flesh, so don't like it, just leave it out. Catch that in. Moisten the ends because we'll need that for the wing at the front. The body, I'm just going to use a, two strands of low braid floss number three. This fly is nice tied with the, the Chinese red floss so you could use that as well. Then we're just going to work our thread forward. Right, we just want to keep this as level as we can really. Just do your best. That's all we can do. Up to there. Then we'll come around with the, the glow braid. It's always worth having a wee check just to make sure you're tied up against the tail. And then just overlapping turns of the blue braid floss to create the rear body. A couple of turns will hold that from the way the waist. Bring up a rib. Three turns of the oval silver tinsel. Leave that for front body. Then the mid wing, basically top and bottom. This is a brighter red fox for that. Just to mix up the colour really. I've already got a pinch of this off too. Length of the wing. Just slightly over halfway into the, the tail is going to do me. Catch that in. Lift the waist. Take that away in a bit of a taper cut as you're heading towards the front. Then take another pinch for underneath. Just get it sort of way. The same length. Just do the best you can. Not matter to the fish like, but just have a wee check. 
make sure that it's straight as well underneath then we can tighten up take this away and a bit of a taper cut too then we'll just tighten up over the cut ends working our thread down now I tied this to uh, put it on the social media, I think it was Facebook um, a band special and the her wing too, it turned out, it turned out okay now the back colour oval silver tinsel just catch it in underneath and then we're going to work back much like you would do if you were putting a mid haggle in tight up against your tight up against your wings it's on the top the dubbing that we're going to use for the front this is just the the SCLF the standard dubbing in black so just take a small pinch you don't want to have a overdoing on at this point so with the with the dubbing now if you don't want to use dubbing at the front you could just use your black floss or anything black really I just think it's the dubbing just adds a wee bit of texture to the fly right, there's plenty any excess that wants to go forward just sweep it back then we'll come round with our oval silver three turns we'll stick the rear body and we'll catch that in come in and trim away the, the waist now we just want to make sure all these wee fibers are back because this causes problems later on especially when we're going to glue the head now you can see the, the type of profile that you're getting that it's, you, you want that shape that we're always looking the salmon anglers, the teardrop shape then for the front wing, top and bottom some white marble fox and I got that sent to me by Andrew from Blob and Buzzer and it's lovely material, it's nice and soft it's what you want now the length, you can have this just that's up to you, it really is up to you um, I want this right over halfway into the mid wing, if you want to call it that. Catch that in. <clears throat> Just make sure that it's straight. Trim it away. Then we'll just tighten up down over the, the cut ends nice and tight with the thread turns. Then I'm going to go back to a flash, same flash that we used for the tail. <coughs> Just the two strands. Pinch and loop, take another turn to hold. Fold the waist back, trim the waist away. Just come in and check the length. Just a wee bit too long. <coughs> Excuse me, so we'll take a wee bit away. Then you want some of the weight for underneath. Now the weight is just the the wrappers. I know a whole lot of boys that won't fetch weight in a fly, but I've sort of way took to it over the last couple of seasons. Um, but the weight on this is basically just the wrappers and the the bodge or haggle. Just have a wee check. Make sure we're just have a wee check. Make sure we're sitting nice. Don't want to be finishing the fly and then you see that you're not sitting nice and straight. Once you're happy, you can tighten up. Come in and trim away the 
media stands. Right. You want to get plenty of movement with this wee fly, and I think that's for me. That's the main thing, is it? Then I can finish off at that point, but I'm gonna put a couple of jungle cat on. If I can get two nice ones here that suit the hook, which I think I have. I've tied it in a on a silver hook there as well. Um I'll show you that at the end because I did promise in a few few videos back. Like that, it's a new saying. A few, few videos back, um, that I would show you the my box of salmon flies once it was sort of way finished. That what's you on there? These aren't for me. I'm tying these for a, for a friend. Now I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. Just offer them up, get them positioned, pinch them, and come round with a couple of loose turns. Now, I'm nothing set in stone at this point. I'm happy with the, the length on each side. Just come back and pinch the two jungle cock eyes, work your thread down, fold the the waist back and then just tighten up onto the jungle cock. Just tidying the head up here at the same time. And don't be shy with the head. The head's part of the fly. Just nice and tight with the thread turns. Keeping the thread tight. Just come in and break away the jungle cock. Lost all that finisher. Found it again. And then just come in and throw in a whip finish. Now you can brighten the head up even more with the glow bright floss number number three, if you wish. It's up to you. Pull your thread tight, come in, trim away your your tan thread, and there you go. Then just to finish off at the front, we drop a super glue just to seal up the thread turns for you. Help the fly last a wee bit longer too, but we don't want to touch the the hair here. We'll just ruin all our the hard graft. Some of you may ask, Hi, have you got the hair? So straight, and I've done a video with Bucktail. Get your wife, partner, girlfriend, whatever, get their hair straighteners. That's some hair. Just straighten the hair. Now, I don't know what that say, the, fl the flip myself, sorry, apologies. So, I'll just pawn out a wee bit. So, that's my that's my box. That's me ready to go. That's all I need there. That'll do me for the year. But I did tie it in a... I say 12. On a silver hook. It really looks nice. On a silver hook. And that's it there. On a size 12. So, there you go guys. Hopefully you can tie a few of those up. Just a bit of fun. Um, it just shows you what you can what you can actually do. Like I say, the weight that I have taken to using the weight um, a wee bit more, which has it worked for me. I haven't caught a fish on a white fly yet, but hopefully, fingers crossed this year. So anyway, enough gibbering. Tie a few of those up. Let me know how you get on. Uh, hopefully, then catch you a few fish. If you're fishing for the salmon. Until the next time, take care of yourselves, the family, enjoy your fishing, enjoy your tan, and uh, all being well, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.